Council's had a corporate health program for I think about 10 years. Within that time we've done a lot of work with staff, management, refining the program and we, and we felt that the Healthy Together Achievement Program was actually offered a really good framework for us to work on um, to really refine our uh, corporate health activities. Corporate health or should I say well-being um, of staff is critical because here we have around 1,200 staff um, and, and growing with a growth municipality and also we have you know, areas that, that we're concerned about such as, as sick leave rates and some other things that really having a, a good corporate health program actually places um, us in a good position to um, look after the health and wellbeing of staff. So Council's been very active in terms of its, its um, aim to be an employer of choice and part of that is around having uh, a good corporate health program. Council did a, a big survey back in 2010 surveying staff around what are the issues you, you would like us to look at in a corporate health program and very strongly came out was nutrition uh, and mental health. So what we did in the nutrition area was we work with um, staff and management about developing a, a healthy catering policy which was quite a journey um, for council. Um, we had what well, I believe was some um, practices that weren't great. We had vending machines that were uh, full of chocolate. Uh, our catering wasn't great. So we now have a strategic working group that comprises um, senior people in the organisation that, that are working at that level on uh, health and wellbeing. And then we have a staff advisory group which um, is, is actually representative of, from across the organisation. It's um, chaired by a director, so it has very high level support. And they actually look at the kind of program area about what are we doing, what are we providing, what's the feedback from staff, uh, and their actually the role is to improve as we go along. Well, I'm a firm believer that a healthy workforce is a productive and motivated workforce, and that can only be to the benefit of our community. Uh, the other thing that I'm very conscious of is, again, a, a healthy and productive workforce enables or, or assists us to become an employer of choice. So what I have noticed since we've commenced our um, health and wellbeing program in earnest is that our staff retention uh, levels have increased quite significantly and so too has our um, motivation and staff satisfaction levels. So tying all that together, I've got uh, no doubt at all that a, a healthy workforce as I said, is, is a productive workforce, but also a motivated workforce to the benefit of our organisation. The approach we've adopted uh, here at the City, whether it's wellbeing at work program or, or other issues, is that we do plan to prevent problems. So from the point of view of um, staff wellbeing, we take a holistic approach and we take very much a prevention approach to um, their wellbeing at work. The long-term vision for the City of Whittlesea and health and wellbeing of staff is for staff to know that they're in a positive and stimulating environment that encourages and supports them to be physically and mentally healthy. Some of the outcomes of the program, um, we've had a definite decrease in sick leave rates. Um, we've uh, a staff retention rate, so I think we were running well, five or ten years ago at say 10 percent, now it's down to five percent, which obviously as an organisation is, is a huge bonus for us. Um, we have a lot of staff participating in activities and, and you know, I think five years ago I'd have to go to staff and draw them into the programs. Now, in fact, we've got people queuing up to get into the program, so our participation rates are high. But this program, I think, has managed to really engage people, bring them on board. We've got staff reps working out of each area. We've got, got people really engaged in the program and really interested in their own health and wellbeing, which effectively is what, what we're trying to do. And hopefully bringing that into their families uh, their children, and so that we've actually got this beautiful flow-on effect from hopefully you know, our 1,200 staff. Getting management on board early is really critical. Um, so what I might possibly do is actually engage earlier at uh, probably at management level. Our senior management, we're on board. Our CEO is most certainly on board. It's probably that middle level that I, I would engage earlier and get them along um, so that they can be more supportive with the programs.